Uh, I love DC. It's in my blood as a little boy. I grew up loving the Super Friends, specifically Superman. I saw my first Black Adam comic, and I was it was arresting to me. His face was intense. He looked cool. He looked different, badass, and he had brown skin. So automatically, I was relating to him. So I am DC through and through. And in the spirit of growing out the DC universe, uh, I'm here to help in any way I can. These powers are not a gift, but a curse. Born out of rage. Black Adam could be the magnum opus of The Rock's career. This film has been in the making for eight years, eight long years. The Rock has dreamed of one day becoming Black Adam and facing off against the Man of Steel himself. What is interesting about this is The Rock seems to have a very solid vision of how this is all going to come together. With the recent news of upcoming DC projects by other creatives, The Rock is being listed as one of the creative driving forces behind the current DC Films universe. I guess he wasn't kidding when he said, The hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. The hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. The hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. Things will never be the same because the hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. He has always been the people's champ, the most electric fine man on television, one of the world's greatest entertainers. He knows what the people want, he knows how to get them hype, and he knows how to deliver an entertaining movie experience. If you're looking for a superhero film, the equivalent of Thursday Night Smackdown look no further than Black Adam. Despite its issues, audiences are loving this movie, and after this video, you're gonna know why. Why we need more of the JSA, why DC continues to challenge the genre's landscape, and why the special effects in this film are better than any comic book film since Zack Snyder's Justice League. And just to be petty, I'm gonna say this movie was better than Thor Love and Thunder. What's happening, y'all? As always, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Drop a like, click that subscribe button if you like this video, and come back for more. And for all my return subscribers, thank you so much for sticking with your boy. Even though I have not been dropping a lot of content as of late, that's just how life works. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into uh, my review for Black Adam. So let's talk about your boy, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who plays the one and only Black Adam. I think he does a pretty solid job in the role. Now, would I say he's like made for this role or would I say that, you know what I'm saying? I can't picture anybody else playing Black Adam. No, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't say that there isn't anybody else who could play Black Adam. I don't, I mean, you could say that, you know, maybe you won't find anybody as big as The Rock to play uh, Black Adam. Uh, but I will say that, the Rock doesn't necessarily embody the character, and I guess maybe not. And I guess maybe that's not even really fair enough for me to say because, to be quite honest, I mean I don't know too much about Black Adam already um, to kind of you know get a good idea of what actor uh, could truly play him. So honestly, when The Rock announced that he would be playing him, I mean he fit the bill. So I was like, all right, cool. I guess that's happening. The one thing that I wasn't expecting with this movie was it to be as lighthearted as it was. There are moments where it actually does feel like Shazam. And I was actually kind of, you know, taken back by that, not necessarily in a bad way. But when you watch the marketing material for this, I would have never thought like this is this is the direction that they you know would have gone in and some might argue that that kind of messes with the tone a bit but it didn't mess with the tone so much so uh that it threw me off or it just you know seemed jarring i thought it kind i mean it doesn't mesh perfectly but 
I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, the kid in this movie, I don't think he's annoying. He's just like any other kid. He's excited. He loves superheroes, right? Uh, and when he sees Black Adam, he's freaking out because he knows the history of Black Adam and and what Black Adam means to his to his land, to his city, to his country or whatever. And, you know, Black Adam comes and he's just like this big fanboy. And I thought that was, you know, kind of adorable uh, because... Again, what I didn't expect from Black Adam was to was that it would remind audiences that hey, this is a superhero film, right? This is a this is a kids film essentially. You know what I'm saying? And hey, sometimes kids like to murder bad guys too. I know some people will start clutching their pearls when they hear me say something like that. You know what I mean? But it's like, dude, I mean, come on. I, you were a kid once. I was a kid once. We love shit like this. You know what I mean? We love seeing, you know, shit like Black Adam going through and completely toasting these dudes, right? The first guy he smokes uh, is the guy that he grabs by the neck and just completely disintegrates him to all there's left is a skull. I mean, that shit is is awesome kids love that stuff another thing i really like about black adam and his relationship with this kid is that it parallels you know uh his backstory right we go back in time we, we see some flashbacks quite often throughout this film and i actually didn't mind the story because i thought that you know the story that they're trying to tell and this relationship between the kid and black adam fits in with the themes uh pretty well you know what i mean uh, I do like this idea that, you know what I mean, kids have so much more hope and so much more optimism, uh, you know, in their future, uh, in their people uh, than adults do, right? Because adults, again, you know, we grow up, we get more cynical, uh, you know, we, we, we sort of uh, get hardened by the world, by the harsh realities of the world and what's, and what's so cool you know, about kids is that they haven't met those yet. And so their optimism, their, you know what I'm saying, hope is pretty cool. And, you know what I'm saying, it's something that we can cling to. And I think the idea that, you know what I'm saying, uh, the wizards are looking for kids with that type of heart to, you know, bestow, uh, to bestow them with these amazing, magnificent powers, uh, because I mean, who better to save the world than someone with hope and optimism? The moment that Black Adam realizes that he ain't shit, <laughs> I actually kind of, you know, emotionally resonated with that moment because, you know, it's like here you have this guy who feels guilt uh, for the death of his son and maybe feels like that maybe his son should still be here and, and not him and how he, he in some way he's failed his son. Right. He's failed to honor the memory of his son and that maybe he wasn't as strong as his son was. Right. Because he's like, I'm not a hero. Right. I'm, I'm actually am a piece of shit. I am very much looking forward to more JSA because I thought the characters in this movie were pretty cool. For the most part, they are thin characters, and a lot of what a lot of their appeal does come from the action scenes that they are in. So visually, they are definitely they definitely hit for me. Uh, but I would say, especially with Cyclone and Adam Smasher, they were very thin characters, very thin characterization. They kind of just showed up showed out and just that's pretty much it right again they had some cool visual moments there was some there were a few you know what i'm saying comedic moments with adam smasher um but i kind of i kind of wanted them to use those characters just a little bit more but the film was already doing so much maybe you, didn't, you really couldn't fit a whole lot in there but the script could have characterized characterized these characters just a little bit better man but Hawkman, though, I thought he was pretty freaking dope, man. I'm not going to lie. I was really looking forward to Hawkman. And I got to say, he did not disappoint. All oh, this Hodge looks amazing in the costume. I am a little disappointed that it's one of those, like, goddamn, uh, you know, nanotech costume, uh, costumes that just, like, appear on you. I hate that. Sh ah, damn. It, it, it's happened so much in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I, it sucks that it's happening here, but at least when the costume does appear, it looks real. It looks tangible. The helmet looks really good. Not like that awful fake shit that we saw in Thor Love and Thunder. Jane? <laughs> 
but no Hawkman was pretty freaking sweet. And I got to say, he, I mean, he is another cop with wings, but I would take him over Sam Wilson's Captain America. Throughout the film, Hawkman is constantly rolling up on Black Adam, talking about superheroes don't kill. Like, dude, get home somewhere with that. Like, it's such a silly argument, a silly debate. Uh, we see this happening online all the time. Ever since, you know what I'm saying, Zod's uh, snapped neck, <laughs> it's been a debate on whether or not Superman should kill, whether or not heroes, period, should kill. And I think it's a rather silly and just, you know, irrelevant debate. Like, who cares? You know what I mean? I think when it comes to the films, sure, superheroes are allowed to off some mugs. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, when it comes to the comics, there was a reason why the whole rule was made up uh, was made up in the first place. And it wasn't because superheroes have to be noble and have to be, you know what I'm saying, uh, righteous and the most purest of human beings. It's like, dude, you are a character who is actively, uh, you know what I'm saying, using violence to stop your enemies. I'm pretty sure you're going to kill a few mugs. I do think the film actually does point out how silly Hawkman looks coming to contact and telling Black Adam that he can't kill, right? They kind of look at him like, bro, who is you, right? Like, well, get out of our face. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> because you're not making any sense right now. You guys weren't here to protect us when we needed protection. Black Adam is here. He's smoking, you know, dudes left and right with his lightning fingers lightning in my hands and the people of Kondak seem to be okay with that and guess what your boy is okay with it too despite all that i do think that hawk band was actually a pretty cool addition i love aldous hodge in the role love the way he looked and his relationship with dr fate was also really cool it's almost as if they had a lot of history between each other and you could actually really feel that i thought the chemistry between the two actors uh pierce bronson and, and aldous hodge was really good and i think nobody will have, you know what I'm saying, uh, any objections to Dr. Fate being the best uh, character and Pierce Brosnan being the best actor in this entire film. If I had to choose between Benedict Cumberbatch and Pierce Brosnan, I will choose Pierce Brosnan because, I don't know, his Dr. Fate seems like, you know, the person Dr. Strange would be, you know, after... 20 30 or 40 more years you know what i mean he just seems so he just seems so you know what i'm saying uh very wise and very you know what i'm saying seasoned you know what i mean uh he has that about his character uh you know he sees the future has similar powers to dr strange uh but he seems more human you know what I'm saying? More empathetic than Doctor Strange. Not many people can outclass Pierce Bronson, and your boy brings a lot of class to Black Adam. Black Adam is an action movie through and through, um, and I mean that in both the good and bad ways, because with an action film, right, with most action films, I would say, uh, story and characters take a back seat, and that's exactly what happened in this movie. But I'm just going to tell you right now, if you can deal with that, uh, the action and the spectacle and the visuals are definitely on point. And I'm not saying that you have to turn your brain off or, you know, enjoy some dumb fun. But what I'm saying is that the story and characters aren't as strong uh, compared to other films in, you know, the same genre that is, you know, that has done these things better. Uh, but what I am saying that there is enough in Black Adam that I think is legitimately good. Uh, but the one thing that you're definitely going to love is the action. Imagine you're a young boy, girl, and you're walking into an auditorium. And once you get into uh, the auditorium and you get into the main arena and there down in the middle of the floor is this wrestling ring, right? 
and the wrestlers come out and you know uh sparks fly you know flames shoot out of you know what i'm saying uh flamethrowers and freaking uh confettis everywhere and you see uh there's a whole freaking light show when you hear this loud rock music and it's thumping and it's filling you pumping you with adrenaline getting you excited to see uh the epic match that's about to unfold right before your eyes and that's that's kind of what black adam is It's like watching a wrestling match, right? You know what I'm saying? I don't watch wrestling anymore. I stopped that shit like a long time ago. Uh, but wrestling is still pretty cool. And also I've got a son. So, hey, I might be jumping back into it. Who knows? But wrestling is awesome. And I can remember as a kid watching that. And like I said, looking at this, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of what this feels like, right? Even right down to the character arts, to the poses, to the different poses that they do, to the different moves and special moves that they have. Like it really does. I mean, that's probably, you know what I'm saying? Especially this, you know, being, you know, the rocks movie. It's a, it's, I mean, what better way to describe it out of all the superhero films that have come out this year, you're not going to find one with better VFX. And I, I, I truly mean that. I truly do mean that. They are spectacular, right? From the blue and gold on uh, Dr. Faye's suit uh, to the gold and sort of like what burnt orange red on, you know what I mean? Uh, Haw Hawkeye's armor uh, to Black Adam and the lightning, you know what I'm saying? The color on that and, you know, the detail in his costume, you know what I mean? Like everything in this movie looks really good like the cgi looks really freaking good and it's i mean it's kind of weird to say this but it's actually refreshing because after watching thor love and thunder or even dr strange multiverse of madness where the cgi i mean there are so many points where you're like oh that i mean that's so noticeable that looks so awful but you can tell that the creators behind this movie really wanted to nail the visual effects, really wanted to get it right uh, because they really want to sell you on the spectacle. And I will say, man, there are so many gorgeous shots in this movie. One particular scene that I'm thinking of is when Dr. Fate multiplies and he's trying to hold down the rock and the rock is like shooting his lightning because Hawk, uh, Hawk, a uh, man just you know what I'm saying? Threw a big ass car at him and he's like destroying the car while being held down. I mean, it is awesome because there are a few slow mo shots in here. Look, I don't know why, you know, uh, action movies don't use more slow mo. Look, I, your boy loves him some slow mo. You know what I'm saying? People, oh, I don't like slow mo. What is so slow mo? It's like, nah, man, give me slow mo. Black Adam isn't going to change the world. I don't know why folks expect it to, to do that. Uh, and, you know, I mean, hey, it's going to entertain you. I will say that. Uh, and it might just change your mind about the DC Films universe. I will say that, again, this is probably the one of the better comic book films that's come out this year, man. And so far, we've had Morbius, L Thor, Love and Thunder, Multiverse of Madness. I don't think anything is going to touch uh, the Batman. The Batman is just going to be the best, period. You know what I'm saying? I know what kind of forever is coming out, and I still said what I said. Hey, yo, check this out, man. Go in the comments and let your boy know on a scale from 1 to 10, what did you think of Black Adam? Leave your short review in the comments below. Click that video you see on the screen right now. Go check out more videos from your boy. And the next film you watch, man, I hope it encourages, inspires, and entertains. Thanks for watching.